Hi folks, today I've been thinking about essential and non-essential workers during this pandemic. Now who are the essential workers? Well, I would start off with the, the government, Boris Johnson and his colleagues. They're the ones who are giving us advice and guiding us through this, which is a great, great problem. Next come the NHS, the doctors, the nurses who are looking after and the people with the coronavirus and who are the frontline troops and indeed some of these are having to work without the proper equipment and some have lost their lives. Next we've got the people in the food chain from the producers to the factories that pack the food and the truck drivers who deliver it to the supermarket as well as the supermarket workers. They're all doing a fantastic job in keeping the nation fed and like the other groups I take my hat off to them. Then of course there are the, the police they are doing the best to keep law and order in the land and to persuade people, and the important word there is they are persuading people to follow the government's guidelines. They're all essential people and mustn't forget think people like the, the postmen, postwomen who deliver our mail every day. In fact it was only today that we got a letter from Boris Johnson explaining about what was happening and the, the bin men, they're always nice and cheery, they come along, I'll give them a wave and have a chat with them, managing to stay in my garden, two metres away from them as they take our rubbish away. They're all doing a fantastic job. Now, what about the wages of these people? Well, I read that Boris Johnson is on £150,000 per year and he deserves every penny of it. But then you've got lots of other people, essential workers, who are on the minimum wage, about £8 an hour. Now what about the non-essential people? It strikes me that a lot of these non-essential people are the ones who are on the really high salaries. Now I mentioned Boris Johnson on 150000 a year, a year. Then there's Wayne Rooney who I read receives, wait for it, 300,000 a week. He earns as much in a week as the Prime Minister does in two years. Is he worth it just because he can kick a football? Personally, I doubt it. Others would dispute that. And there are other footballers, again, on salaries of many, many millions of pounds. The same holds true to pop stars and actors and actresses. They're not really essential workers at all. It strikes me that society has got things wrong, greatly wrong. Essential workers on low wages and non-essential workers on much higher wages. Seems unfair, but there it is. Anyhow, to all you essential workers who are out there doing their bit, I salute each and every one of you. The others, well, you know what my opinion is, I'm not going to say it. Anyhow, that's all for today and we will see you soon. Bye now.